so this is kind of a dark night of the soul uh, place for me in this song. And uh, the opening lines, uh, I know I shouldn't say this, but there's something on my mind. Ever since I remember, I've been holding on inside. And it's kind of a, a bare face statement. You know, I, I felt really vulnerable writing that in a song. But it, it just it became an unmistakable fact in my life. Like, I'm just holding on all the time for some reason. I don't even know what I'm holding on to. And I, I, in the song, I'm, I, I'm trying to figure it out. All the different verses are ascribing all kinds of failings to myself about why I was holding on and all kinds of psychological ideas. But then, a few years after I wrote it, I started to have a recurring dream. And I had this dream every night for, I don't know how long, I want to say it, like six weeks or something, a really long time. And the dream was, I would dream about a certain shape in my throat. And I would, it started to get so that I'd be dreaming and I'd be saying in the dream, so are we going to have the dream or... <laughs> Really, that really happened. And then something truly amazing happened, which is I, I found my way to a certain massage therapist and a certain orthodontist. And between those two people and myself, I recovered a body memory that I had lost, which I had from a... A, a, a medical procedure I had when I was 12 years old. I had a lung procedure called a bronchoscopy, bronchioscopy or bronchoscopy, I'm not sure what it is, but they put a, a metal scope down your throat into your lungs, and they did both my lungs, so it was a double bronchoscopy. And I remember they told me in the recovery room that it, it took four nurses to hold me down so they could get the scope down my throat. So I wasn't fully anesthetized during the process, I guess. And... It left me with a trauma injury in my airway. And um, anyway, the good news is I've been able to let go of it, and I'm not holding on like this anymore. Uh, but still, the, the song is, uh, it really says something to me. And uh, of course, uh, having, being able to get connected with that 48 years later, get connected with that piece of trauma, it's really changed how I am in the world, and especially uh, done, changed my experience of singing <laughs> in a really big way. So, uh, anyway, this is called All This Time. I know I shouldn't say this but there's something on my mind Ever since I remember I've been holding on inside The holdings become familiar Just lately I realize I don't know why I don't know why Don't know why All this time Don't know why in shining armor Save me from your eyes Other people's stories give you a place to hide Metaphors, myths, fables and dreams have hidden you all this time All this time All this time All this time Don't know why all this time I know sometimes The stories that someone's to blame And there's many times I take that comfort too But I've tried and tried And now I find I never really win that game It's true All this time all this time 
all this time, all this time, all this time. You'll ever see me where to look, I wouldn't know. And if I did, I must admit I couldn't begin to go. All I know is by the time I get there, I'd be gone by that time. By that time, by that time, by that time. By that time I've tried and tried All this time And now I find I don't know why it's true All this time 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 All this time, all this time, all this time, all this time. All this time, so hang in there. It's okay, you can clap if you want. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's the body. Again, we hold things in our body, and there are things that are understood now about trauma that, that weren't in the past.